my channel Alice Yummy Food. Today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing unicorn pavlova cake. It's so beautiful, it's so pretty, it's got all the rainbow colors inside and I absolutely love it. Yeah. It's super easy to make so if you follow my step-by-step -step guidelines you'll be able to make this at home too. And I really, really love the rainbow colors. It makes me always really happy. And it's stuffed with cream, salted caramel, and berries. It's literally a showstopper. And guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. And you will get notified every single time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. Place a cooking ring onto your parchment paper. And draw a circle of the size of your pavlova. I'm using 18 centimeter ring. In a bowl, add egg whites, then add a pinch of salt, and using a whisk attachment, you want to whisk the egg whites on medium speed. Start slowly and then incorporate more air into the egg whites. Make sure your bowl is nice and clean as well and has no fat, otherwise your egg whites are not going to whip up. You want to whisk them until they become nice and fluffy, just like that. So once they form stiff peaks, you're going to add cold water a little bit at the time on a low speed while mixing the egg whites. Then you want to add sugar, one tablespoon at a time, again mixing on a medium speed. And then once you've finished with all the sugar, you want to increase the speed to make sure your meringue starts to whisk up nice and firm. When you turn the bowl around, it should not come out, it should stay there. Then add vanilla extract and I'm also using strawberry essence, feel free to add any other essence. Add your vinegar and then gently incorporate everything together. Once everything is mixed in, you want to add your corn flour and you want to add a little bit at a time. So sieve it through and then shake it off your spatula a little bit and incorporate everything into your meringue. This will make sure it doesn't crack as much. Next, we're going to divide our meringue into five balls. First, I'm using a yellow color and you want to use all the colors of the rainbow. So we've got my yellow color, then I'm adding a little bit of my red color and just mixing it with a spoon. Then I'm going to have my beautiful green color, purple and blue. Once you have all your colors, set them aside. Guys and girls, I have my recipe on my website at aliceyummyfood.com. You'll find full ingredients and also directions on how to make this. And also you'll be able to find loads of other recipes that I do for my channel. Uh, just click through, click on the picture and you'll be able to see the whole video with the directions and the full recipe in English and Russian languages. Place your mixture into a piping bag, so put it over a cup so it's easier to put inside. And then spoon your mixture into the cup. You want to do that with all the colors and by the end of it you should be able to have 5 beautiful bags of your meringue. Next we're going to take a cling film, spread it around, make sure you have a nice countertop where you can do this. And then you want to pipe each color one at a time into a straight line. So do this for all the colors, make it like a little rainbow. Then fold your cling film on top of the other side. And you kind of just want to press down and roll it into a large sausage, securing the top and the end. And then take a larger piping bag and place your meringue into there. So this is how we're going to create the beautiful beautiful unicorn colors. Once that's in the bag, you wanna cut off the piping tip and start piping onto the parchment paper where you drew your circle. Feel free to do different style here. Um, because I'm making my meringue cake in a specific shape, I'm going around filling the circle and then I want to make sure that when you cut into the cake, you're gonna have these beautiful colors. So using your spatula, shape the cake first just making sure it's nice and round. And then you want to go around with a spatula, sort of pulling upwards and creating these lines, which are gonna look so beautiful when it's baked. So essentially we're creating like a mini volcano cake. 
we then later want to make sure that we have a little dip inside um, so using your spatula again sort of carve the middle out and give it a bit more space we're going to bake this for about one hour at a very low temperature of 150 degrees celsius or 300 fahrenheit next make your cream in a bowl add your heavy or double cream with some icing sugar and whisk on low speed until you get nice and creamy mixture take your meringue out and leave it to cool down for about an hour in the oven after it's baked um, and then when it's ready you can decorate the cake also you can leave it overnight if you have patience <laughs> gently peel it off the middle and inside bit will break because it's very very tender but generally it doesn't crack at all so you want to pipe your cream inside your lava <laughs> inside the little volcano hole and pipe the entire cream inside and then I'm also going to add some melted salted caramel sauce, passion fruit sauce, feel free to add whatever you want and experiment with any flavors that you prefer. Um, decorating it also with some fresh berries, icing sugar, some candy. <laughs> But it looks fantastic guys, it's so so pretty. You can place this in a fridge for the cream to set or you can eat it straight away, it's completely up to you. Make sure though you serve it within a few hours and you eat it on the same day or leave it only up to one day after. This beautiful unicorn pavlova makes everybody happy. It's got the beautiful colors inside, it's so delicious. It's so creamy, it's crunchy, it's, you know, you've got that meringue chewiness from it and, you know, it's a unicorn one, so I'm sure it's going to put a smile on your face. Enjoy guys, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and like this video and comment and subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. Thank you, bye!